In this video, I want to look at some basic course maintenance and management features. Specifically, I want to show you how to copy items from one It's Learning course to another one, how to move items within one course, and how to delete items out of a course. Let's start with how to copy items from course to course. Now this is extremely helpful if you have two courses and you need similar content in each course. You can build the content in one and copy it to the other. Additionally, you may be working as a content team with other teachers at your school and you guys may choose to share resources in your content team course and then want to copy those resources to your individual courses. So let's look at an example here. I'm in my course and I want to copy this content examples folder into another one of my courses. To do this, the first thing you need to do is select the folder that contains the item which you want to copy. Notice the content examples folder is inside the course folder. So I'm going to choose the course folder. On the right side of the screen, you see what I call the table of contents. It's literally everything contained in that particular folder. You will check the box in front of whatever item you want to copy. You can select multiple things at one time and copy multiple items at a time. I'm just going to check this one folder. At the top of the table, you will then want to click the Action button. And notice there's the choice Copy To. Be really careful. There's also a Move To option. You don't typically want to move the item. Move To literally means take it out of this course and place it somewhere else. Most people want to leave the item where it is and then make a duplicate of the item in another location so they want to copy so be really careful. I'm going to choose copy to. A pop-up window is going to open. From the first drop down in that window you'll see a list of all the courses that you can copy to. So you'll choose the course where you want to copy. I'm going to go to the sandbox course. It will then load all of the folders for that particular course. If you want to place the item you're copying into a folder, you can select that particular folder. I just want to move my folder over. I don't want to put it inside anything. So I'm just going to go down here and hit copy. Wait a couple seconds and then you will get a message letting you know that that item was successfully copied. I'm going to go to that course. And typically, anytime you copy something from one course to another, it will put that item at the bottom of the tree. So if I scroll down there, there's the copy that I just brought over. Now, once you're in a course, there may be times that you need to reorganize things within that course. So maybe items are just not in the right location in the tree, or you want to get um, items inside a folder that were not originally put inside a folder. You have a couple options on how you can move things within a course. First off, in the tree you can click and drag things around. So let's say I want this content examples before unit one. Notice I could just click and drag it there. So clicking and dragging is an option for reordering or moving items. But another thing you can do is um, to move several items at one time into a specific location. So let's go up here to the top of the tree have all these sample items and I really wanted those in my samples folder. So let's see how I can actually move all those one time. I'm going to click the main course folder so I see that table of contents. I'm then going to check all of the items that I want to move. So I'm going to check those four items and I want to move them into the samples folder. I'm going to go to the top and choose that action button again and this time I am going to choose the move to because I don't want double copies of these items I just want to relocate them. So I'm going to choose move to. Notice it's going to show me that I'm still in my sandbox course so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to choose the folder where I want to move those items into. I'm going to click move. Let it process for just a second and notice now all of those items are no longer showing here but if I click on the samples folder there they are inside that folder. So those are two options on how to move. Just clicking and dragging in the tree or using the action move to choice. Now the 
last thing I want to show you is how to delete items out of your course. Whether it's something that's got a mistake on it, something you no longer want in there, um, just want to get rid of it. And there are several ways that you can do this as well. So first off, I'm going to click back on my main course folder so I see everything within my course over here in the table of contents. And let's say I no longer need this presentations item. Notice every single item has a red X available for you. All you have to do is click the red X for whichever item you want to delete. It'll ask you if you really want to delete it. You say delete and that item's gone. So very fast, very easy. Additionally, you can open any item. So let's go ahead and just open this agenda item. If you don't want that, you can go to this dot 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 button and always choose delete there as well. One other extra helpful hint as a bonus. Notice you have a trash can in all of your courses. If you delete something that you really didn't mean to delete, it goes to that trash can and no one can delete it for at least 30 days. So if I click on my trash can, I'm going to see that presentations that I just deleted. And if I think, oh, wait a minute, I really wanted that or needed that, I can just check the box in front of presentations, click restore, and its learning is going to put that item right back in my tree, right where I had it in the first place. Hopefully you feel comfortable with copying items, moving items, and deleting items.